Hey everyone, so this video is about the book Onward by Howard Schultz. If you're interested in the book, there's a link down below. So this book is a mix between a memoir and a business book. Uh, and the reason for that is because it's a memoir in the sense that it talks a little bit about the history, how it got started, and so on and so forth. But it's also a business book because it talks about how Howard Schultz was able to take Starbucks in, into from this one coffee shop into this multi billion dollar coffee shop and it's just very fascinating and throughout the book he talks a little bit about some business lessons or lessons that he's learned throughout the way or just how he wanted Starbucks to be so throughout the book it's a little bit about a memoir and a little bit about a a little bit about business so it's kind of hard to say which one specifically but it's a blend of the both so as I've said before that this book is kind of a business book and so throughout the book there are some mini lessons or there are some uh, great ideas scattered throughout the book on how to run a business and so here are my three takeaways from this book and hopefully you can uh, get some value from it as well so the very first point that I took away is that if you are wanting to become an entrepreneur, you better love what it is that you are doing. And he says this right from the get-go from chapter two on page eight. And he basically says, when we love something, emotion often drives our actions. This is the gift and the challenge entrepreneurs face every day. The companies we dream of and build from scratch are part of us and intensely personal. They are our families, our lives. But the entrepreneurial journey is not for everyone. Yes, the highs are high and the rewards can be thrilling, but the lows can break your heart. Entrepreneurs must love what they do to such a degree that it is worth sacrifice and at times pain. But doing anything else we think would be unimaginable. So there you have it. That's the first point. You got to love what it is that you're doing if you want to become an entrepreneur. So the second point is that Starbucks is a master at relationship marketing. So relationship marketing is basically as opposed to paying for traditional advertising, they focus on pleasing the customers. They want to give the customers a really good experience. And from that, the word of mouth sort of spreads and they pretty much do the marketing for you. And throughout the book, he talks about how customers always come first and he doesn't really like paying for marketing or that's his main form of marketing. And here on page 211, he says, I have never embraced traditional advertising for Starbucks. Unlike most consumer brands that are built with hundreds of millions of dollars spent on marketing, our success had been won with millions of daily interactions Starbucks is the quintessential experiential brand. What happens between our customers and partners inside our stores and that had defined us for three decades. So there you have it. They are a master of relationship marketing. So that's one really great form of marketing. If you want to build your brand, relationship marketing is probably one of the ways to go. Now, the third and last point is that Starbucks is a an adapting slash experimenting machine. Now they have a set of core values that they stick by, but it's also, they're always testing new ideas. They're always saying, okay, maybe we can introduce this or get rid of that. Let's try this thing out. Let's, let's see what this works. So they're always testing their ideas to bring a better customer experience. So that's one thing that it says throughout the book. There's no really specific uh, page where it says, oh, we, you know, we focus on uh, adapting or experimenting, but all throughout the uh, book, you can kind of guess, or you can kind of put together that they are, they're always thinking of ways to make the customer experience better. So who is this book for? Well, I would say that this book is pretty much only for, I would say two, two and a half groups of people. So the first is if you are a entrepreneur or if you're interested in business and you wanna get some micro lessons or lessons from entrepreneurs on how they grew their business, then that would be one group. Another group is maybe you are interested in Starbucks or coffee or 
yeah, that's pretty much if you're interested in Starbucks or coffee. Uh, and then the third group is if you just like stories of how people go through struggle and how they're able to come back out ahead after that struggle. So I would just say it's if you're one of the three, then this book would probably suit you. Anyone else, I would I pr probably wouldn't recommend this book to. So in terms of my rating, I would probably give this book a four out of five. It's it's all right. It's not bad. There's there's some good points to it. Uh, for myself, I I'm kind of biased because I too like Starbucks and coffee, so uh, that's probably affecting my rating. So I would give this book a four out of five. But who knows, maybe for yourself, you would give it something else. All right, well, there you have it. And thank you for watching. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down. Uh, please let me know in the comments what you liked or what you didn't like about this video because I really want to make these videos better for you. All right, and if you are interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.